Hey Scrappy Peeps, Susanna here today for Spiegel Mom Scraps and this week we are scrap lifting Missy Whitten and this is Missy's layout that I chose to scrap lift. There are a bunch of squares and she um, also put some uh, gesso on the background and then she had some shimmers that she used and I copied that. If you see anything you want from Spiegel Mom Scrap and you decide to go shopping, if you use the code Susanna15, you get 15% off. So what Missy did, and I watched her video and then sort of copied her because it's a scrap lift, was I put gesso on the right-hand side of my yellow cardstock to create a base to then do a mixed media layer on. Now, Missy's picture is a water picture, and so she had using, using, used, pardon me, different shades of blue shimmers in order to create her background and mimic the water behind her daughter. I um, decided that I wanted to do more shades of yellow. Um, I do not have a lot of yellow shimmers, uh, which I did get from the Spiegel Mom Scrap Store, so I did use Heidi Schwab Shine, and for some reason I decided, I think as a quicker way of drying it so that I could create, I wiped off with um, paper towel, but you will find that after I do this embossing that I go back over um, and add more shimmers or more spray mist to that. So I am using, um, this is called Hold the Mustard is the color pasties from Shimmers over a stencil because I um, wanted some flowers on this layout just in the same hue so it was kind of tone on tone and monochromatic for the background just to add a little bit of visual interest through her through my layout. Missy uses hearts throughout her layout um, and I have a few hearts that I do use but my other primary shape and embellishment here are the embossed hearts. So that is the foundation of the layout and I'm going to let that dry while I cut. And so here is where I told you I um, had taken away a lot of that yellow color by rolling the paper towel over it. So I just went back in again with the um, mist and added some more yellow. So I want this to dry, um, so I'm going to start building the foundation of, of the layout. Missy often uses tissue paper behind her pictures, and I um, cannot for the life of me find my white tissue paper. So instead of tissue paper, I used a glassine bag, which just adds the same effect. Um, it just is a little more opaque, I want to say. So... I had collected a bunch of pattern papers and I went Missy's color tones in hers. Um, she uses pinks and yellows and I really liked those colors but they weren't going to work with this particular picture that I wanted to work with. So I pulled a bunch of pinks but not the bright pinks, sort of the more mauvey colors and um, this tealy green color and it was kind of hard to find a collection that included both of those so I have papers from all over the place um, I have some of this the right there is Maggie Holmes I have some authentic um, I have some old basic gray I even used um, a card that came in my Coco Daisy kit that's what says smile and I just cut out various squares um, when Missy made her layout she used uh, square punches I don't have square punches and I didn't want mine to be quite so uniform necessarily so I, I literally just cut out different size squares from the pattern papers that I pulled um, and while I was doing that that also afforded me the ability to let the gesso and the um, embossing paste or yeah the embossing paste the pasties um, to dry some and you can see I do use my mat a little bit for some symmetry but I wasn't worried to get perfect symmetry so that piece of paper from American Crafts from One Canoe 2 is actually what was the color inspiration for this layout um, because it combines both the pink and the the teal aqua it's really more of an aqua color um, and I liked the front and the back of that and as you if those of you who know my scrapping know that I like to have a piece of pattern paper that has the color combinations of what I'm using in it 
So I lay my picture down first, and Missy uses a square picture in her layout, but I did not. I, um, I wanted this picture. This picture is of my son going to the eighth grade dance. He went by himself. Um, he had a girlfriend who he had had for a little while, and in our middle school, you cannot invite somebody from a different school to the dance. So he let his friends go off and um, have dinner with their dates, and he just met them there at the dance, and I think he had a good time. So I just arranged these squares um, in really just a random pattern. I just stuck squares down. What I realized after the fact is that Missy's squares are a little tighter than mine. Um, hers almost form a rectangle of squares, um, whereas mine forms more of a square of squares. Um, and when you look at her layout versus mine at the side, you'll see what I mean by that. So I just tried to alternate some colors and put different sizes so you can see I cut down a few of the squares that I chose and I literally just got my scotch glue to lightly glue them down because I knew I was going to go in and do as Missy had done and with my machine machine stitch a straight line through some of those squares. You can see um, my embossing paste isn't completely dry and I'm not worried about it because you still get the effect of the flowers. Um, I just didn't want it to smudge too much and I didn't want it to get on my hand and then get on the paper, which I frequently do. I did cover one of those flowers there. So just gluing those down and in a minute I will go upstairs. My sewing machine is upstairs. I actually have two machines, one for paper and one for fabric um, and I will go upstairs and stitch. I used a variegated yellow thread to just stitch through a few of those squares and then I will continue to do as I'm doing here and add some embellishments. Um, Missy only has one title which she has on the left hand side of her layout and hers um, is actually a long title. Her layout it says Oh Summer We Heart You um, and I just used a simple title. Um, I used letters from the One Canoe Two um, Thickers and stuck those as my title there because they were the same hue as uh, the colors that I had in the aqua sort of tealy color here. Then I pulled out my Spiegel Mom scrap sequence and this is the Fairy Garden collection. Fortunately this collection perfectly matched the um, colors that I used for this layout and I chose a sequence to put in the middle of each of the embossed flowers and then I chose three clusters of three just for some added visual interest to this layer and I like how it really um, pulls your eye away from the squares, but also sort of draws out the linearness of the squares. Missy always uses, um, I call them balls of thread, um, thread tangles. And so I did put a thread tangle. Um, I, I'm wishing I had put one on the other side of the picture and I believe Missy has two, one on the right hand side and one on the left hand side. And I may go back and put that in um, over that really big square to the bottom left of the picture, but it 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 wouldn't look empty without it. So I use my Scotch Quick Dry to put the sequins down, and I'm getting a little more proficient with my sequins and just um, sort of lifting the edge up and then able to push it down with my finger and get the glue without getting the sequins stuck to my finger, as is typically what is wanting to happen. So I have hearts and various other embellishments that I pulled from um, Bella Boulevard, Fancy Pants, and I think that's about it that I use to decorate the layout with. Um, and just as Missy had done, she had hearts scattered throughout. So I did that. I put my title where Missy put her title, and I actually also journaled where Missy journaled, only um, I didn't underline my um, journaling as Missy has done. So this is where I add the title. You can see that Remember This. And I, it was hard to pull the whole thing off, so I just cut it out, which was perfectly fine. And my intent had been to fold it back, kind of like you one would do with wax paper. Um, 
but they didn't come off as cleanly as I wanted. I found that arrow as I was going through the um, Thinker's Pack, and I really wanted that in there too, so I had to relocate the heart. Um, in the process, I pulled off the backing, the sticker backing, so I just used some scotch adhesive. Now, I do find that a lot of Thickers, especially these really thin letters, don't adhere very well. And so I do put some liquid adhesive. See how they just sort of fell off that uh, backing. So I lay them down and I actually don't like the alignment of them because I wanted this more in line with the square. Um, so after laying them all down, I shift them to form a better alignment. So we are coming to the end of this scrap lift. That is my um, not so perfect take on Missy's layout, but I, I really do like the way that it turned out. I um, am never going to be able to scrap as well as Missy does, but hey, it's a good good attempt. So if you find anything you need from the Spiegel Mom Scrap Store, don't forget to use Susanna 15 for a discount. Enjoy the close-ups and thanks for joining us today. Take care.